what's up? Please ignore the mess of a room. I'm in the middle of packing. If you guys watched my live stream just now on Instagram, I didn't get much done. But either way, we're gonna move on with this video. I'm sorry I'm not cleaning up for you guys. Um, I'm lazy, so. Today we're gonna be doing a little sit down chat talking about running culture and what I like and what I don't like about it. I would say that there are many things on both sides and I would love to know your guys' take on it too so make sure to leave your comments below on what you think about any things I bring up or even if you have new ideas, what you like and what you don't like about running culture or stereotypes or anything so First things first, let's talk about what I like about running culture. I have a little list of Rooney on my phone. I'm gonna pull that out. Okay. Okay, I guess I'm gonna be talking also specifically about distance running culture. And one of the things I love is that it's both an individual sport and a team sport, and you can't really categorize it. I guess it's, I don't know, people say it's an individual sport, but for me, my entire life, I've seen it as a team sport. You're really competing all alongside your teammates and you're still scoring points, though a lot of the work is done individually. It also is such a team. There's such a team aspect to it and that's what I love. That's what I thrive in. I thrive in a team environment. Just being able to have great workouts with your teammates, have hard workouts with your teammates and just getting through that is just such a good feeling and having people that you know care about you and want you to succeed, it's just such a good feeling and that's what I love about running. But another thing, another downside to this I would say is is that it can be an individual sport. Some things are done that you just know are very individualistic. Like people are, people ultimately, since it is an individual sport, at the end of the day, a lot of people are focused a lot on themselves, which is, it's the nature of the sport. You're competing, like it's all on you, I guess. Your teammates can help you, but you're ultimately the one that gets a certain place and everything. So I don't know. That's just the nature of competing. So that can, cause a little bit of conflict here and there, but all in all, I prefer to be seen as a team sport because I love competing with everyone, so yeah. Also, kind of going along with this, another thing is that, that I love is you get to see the best and the worst of everyone, and I think that's just such a unique thing that you don't get in other environments. If you're in like a club or something on campus, or I don't know, just even in your classes, like people don't get to see the physically the best and the worst of you. I've seen my teammates win national championships. I've been there alongside them winning national championships. And I've also seen people having the worst workouts of their life and people have seen me having the worst workouts of my life. And I think it's just really cool to see the highs and the lows. And that's just something that you don't get in other parts of life. Like people in my classes don't see me, I don't know, stressing at three in the morning for a test unless we happen to be together, which is not a lot of the time. Like. I don't know, it's just such a unique experience that other people don't get to see. And running is such a physically hard sport and mentally hard sport, so you're just pushed to so many limits. People see things that you would never see out of any other human, and it's just, I don't know, it's such a cool experience just being able to connect on that level. Also, I love just the sense of community within the running world, the distance running world especially. Especially like you guys, everyone is so nice on here. I hardly ever get any mean comments or anything. Everyone is very supportive with any of my decisions I made or when I run well, when I don't run well, people are extremely supportive. No one really seems to tear each other down or judge each other that much, which I just really like. In other sports, I think, I think there's a lot of favoritism in, of teams and like other hatred toward other players, and I just don't th see that a lot in the running world. Like, no one really hates anyone, and I just, I think that's so cool about distance running in general. Also, I've had so many opportunities to meet a wide variety of people I never would have met before, from all over the world even. Like, half of my teammates on Oregon were from a different country. That's crazy. Like, I never would have been able to meet them without running. Or even connecting with people online through running. Like, this channel is basically about running. So, just being able to connect with different people and go on travel trips, like in high school, just meeting all of the other, like, good runners from different parts of the country. That was just so cool. And that was an experience I never will forget my entire life. And I. I'm so grateful that I had that opportunity, especially in high school, just to travel to all of those different meets and have those experiences. That's just awesome. Another thing that I love about like distance running especially is that anyone can do it. It's extremely inclusive. Everyone, there's just a wide variety of levels, wide variety of distances, and honestly, anyone can just put on a pair of running shoes and go for a run or 
go sign up for a race and I think that's just super cool that the sport is just available to anyone and everyone's pretty encouraging about it. Kind of going along with this, I also love how there's so many different ways to train. There's not one set way that every single person needs to train to be successful. You really, it's trial and error. It's definitely a process. Results don't happen immediately, which can be hard, and you really need to find what works for you. But I think that's super interesting that someone running 10 miles a week can win NCAAs in the mile or someone running 70 miles a week could win NCAAs in the mile just depending on how they train. So I just think that's super cool and something that's very unique to distance running. So now we're gonna go to talking about the things I don't really like about distance running or distance running culture in general, stereotypes, anything about that. So the first one being is that everything is extremely number slash outcome oriented. If you're running on a team, a lot of things are outcome oriented. The place you get, the times you run, either you qualify to the next race or you don't. You run a certain time that qualifies you or you don't. You hit a certain time, like it's very success or failure oriented and I think that can be really hard mentally, especially on me, like confidence wise, it can just be hard. I don't know, to compare yourself to numbers like in the previous years, to compare yourself to other people's times or paces or whatever and I think that can just be really hard when running itself isn't really in that way, it's more just competing. Like now when I go for a run, I don't really see it as numbers, I kind of just see it as running. I don't even know if I'm making any sense with that, but that's just a little ramble. This one, I've talked about it a little bit on my channel before, but there's a pressure, I think, that people think that they need to look a certain way to be good. And this, frankly, is just not true. There are so many different shapes and sizes. I will never be someone that has a six-pack abs stick skinny. and. As many times as I tell myself this, there's always that little doubt in the back of my mind for some reason. I think just distance running culture has ingrained that into my head and it's very hard to get over it. And I know a lot of other people have had this problem too, but I think in today's day and age there are more and more people coming out talking about how they struggle with this and showing that you don't really need to look a certain way to run well. Everyone is so individual and you just can't, people should just not judge each other based on what they look like. And I, Obviously that's a huge statement and that's not very reasonable in the world because everyone always judges each other But I think that's something that we can really try to work on fixing is not looking at another person and comparing them to like themselves or I don't know judging other people based on the way they look or judging yourself and your performance on the way that you look And that's something I've struggled with but that's just something that has really gotten to me and what I don't really like about distance running culture there's movement going on and I think it's changing for the better but it's definitely something that needs to be talked about more often and reiterated so that's just a big one for me. Another one is not having very many opportunities to make a living for like the professional athletes and this is not even just distance running this is the entire running like sprinting just track and field athletes in general I guess. There's just not a lot of money in the sport and that's I think really hard and it kind of discourages people from running professionally. I think a lot of talented runners just don't have the opportunity like monetary wise to go run professionally and that's just so sad and I wish that could be changed and I think it will be over the next couple years there's just a lot of changes that I think need to be made to track and field for that to happen and I don't know there's just so much potential in the track and field world that I don't think is tapped into because of the lack of money available for those that are like up and coming right after college I don't know it's such a huge sport and I feel like that can definitely be changed so guys, those are just a couple of my ideas on what I think about running. Let me know your thoughts below. If I missed anything, let me know. Are there any things that you guys want to see changed in the running community or any sorts of that stuff? If you guys enjoyed this type of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because just if you want to see more videos or if you just love running. Like I talk a lot about running, so if you want to hear a girl chat about running, it's a lot of running. Subscribe. Make sure to click that notification button if you want to be notified on when I post a new video. And fellas, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.